Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, speaking and writing uh, two. Uh, this is the explanation video for tomorrow's class on October 20, uh, 20th. Okay, we are beginning section two, and week one begins, as it always does, with a writing assignment. Then it'll be followed next week by a video assignment, and then we'll have our chance to talk again with a little bit of feedback. And I hope um, with that feedback session, it won't be so much about going over your writing as it will be about your speaking. I want to try to give you uh, both uh, chances to learn a bit more from your writing as well as your speaking. So next time it'll mostly be about speaking and the corrections on your writing I will actually try to put into a video next week as well as for the remaining three sections too. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening this week. Um, I want you to get ready for your writing preparation for October 20th. So for all of that, um, remember that in the assignment, which we'll take a look in just a second, uh, download and follow the template and replace the placeholders. Uh, the template has places for name, name, title, title, type here. Remember, you take out the part that says name, name, and you put in your own name. And the title, of course, is the title of your paper, whatever, it, uh, whatever you want it to be, and type here. And take that out and then start typing. Okay, so use it as a template and replace all of the placeholders. Um, the VOA article will be revealed tomorrow at noon. Um, I explained to you last week uh, in, the, in the class in Japanese uh, how to use it. Um, uh, click the link, read the article, use or take advantage of the fact that it is online so then you can you know double click words and you can look it up and use your dictionary. Um, you can use the mp3 player to have something read to you. Okay, so if you didn't get that explanation, watch the videos from the last class and I'll explain to you uh, in those videos uh, what we will be doing this week. <clears throat> Remember, you have only 30 minutes to write, okay? Write as much as you can. And that reading itself too, I don't think that will take you very long, maybe at most 30 minutes. So again, about 30 minutes to write. Write as much as you can, uh, black ballpoint pen, double-spaced writing, okay, writing should be double-spaced, and then at the end, count up all the words, put it at the bottom of the writing, take a photograph, and send it up to our Moodle, okay. Uh, before you upload, uh, remember to rename all of your documents, your photograph, especially your typing, rename it so that then it shows your, shows your name and your student number. Do not upload it without renaming it or else you're going, you're going to be sending me a document that says Cruise Typing Template. So change that name of that document, okay? Now, for the writing corrections, let me give you some hints that um, I found in the last bit of writing, okay? Um, if you're going to be doing uh, um, this kind of writing, you have to show that you've been studying English for the six years that you have. So that means that when you write something like my father and you want to use the verb go, it has to be my father goes. It is not my father go. My father don't go. You know that's wrong. Think a little bit. You, you studied that in junior high school for three years. Another three years in high school. Show that you've been studying English for six years. My father goes to work. I go to school. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, of those seven pronouns, I, you, we, they, use the infinitive. Go. I go, you go, we go, they go. But the three, he, she, it, that uses uh, the version of the infinitive that has the S sound. He goes, she goes, it goes. If you make that mistake, I'm going to put a blue circle, or I'm not a blue circle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark it in blue letters, and I'm going to drop your grade. Again, this was explained in the... Um, in the class last week, okay? Please be careful. I don't want you losing a lot of grades just because you're not taking the time to check your work, all right? Do not use because or so to start a sentence. I don't really even want you using and, but, or, or to start a sentence, but definitely do not use because to start a sentence. A lot of people were doing that, okay? Um, if I put square bracket and then um, regular parentheses with a question mark in blue, on your writing, that means I don't understand what you're trying to say in that part. Okay, so be careful. If I don't understand what you're saying, eventually I'm going to be able, I'm going to not be able to, I'm going to take points off or maybe drop your grade down just like I do with those blue mistakes because I have to understand what you're writing. Check your work, read it again, make sure that it makes some sense in English. Okay. 
A lot of you who were writing um, with uh, in mind the old Aiken instructions uh, for the step test that you have to say, I have two reasons for my opinion. My first reason is, reason, reason, reason. My second reason is, please don't do that. That, that is a horrible way to write. Nobody, no native speaker I know writes that way. The only people that write that way are the people that took their instructions from the Aiken test. So it looks very Japanese. Don't write that way. It doesn't look good, okay? No native speaker does that. If you're going to write um, about the reasons you have for an opinion, just go ahead. Say that you have a reason for the opinion and just go straight to the reason. You don't have to say that you have a reason. Just say the reason. You can maybe say first or second, but even that, you know, I don't encourage it. I can tell what comes first and I can tell what comes second. If you're a good writer, you don't need to say first or second because I can tell from your good writing that you've said your reason and here is the next reason. You don't need to say that, but especially don't say I have two reasons. That just doesn't look very good. Uh, the next class, um, on, or sorry, the next class will be, uh, let's see, on the 20th, uh, be on the 27th. Then after that, November 3rd is a holiday, so there's no class, okay? And then November 10th will be on demand. That's when we'll have our chance to have our feedback classes. Um, when there are classes and it is not on, and they are on demand, sorry, uh, Zoom will be optional. You can come and talk to me, okay? But only for the first 20 minutes in the Zoom rooms. Okay, I'll see you uh, tomorrow afternoon, October 20th, and we'll be um, maybe um, uh, talking in the Zoom rooms uh, because it's uh, an on-demand class. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.